never ceases to amaze me how blind and superstitious modern humans can be. For much of the Western world, we rely heavily on modern medicine, almost in a complete and perhaps sometimes blind trust, while holistic and natural healing is seen as archaic, and in many circles as unscientific, primitive, and even ineffective and possibly dangerous. But is this actually the case? Do the studies actually show evidence that modern medicine is more effective, less dangerous, and more scientific than natural herbs and healing? Or is modern medicine, modern drugs, perhaps in part promoted by an ignorant class of people who assume very fallaciously that modern medicine has reached an era of perfection? which cannot be compared with ancient archaic herbs and home remedies. Now before you leave a nasty comment, let me quickly say my intent is not to belittle the advances of modern medicine, nor am I telling you not to go to the doctor or never to use medicine. But my intent is to inform you that perhaps sometimes we blindly follow a whole class rather than individually researching a stance or position. It may surprise you to know that most drugs are actually based on some natural herb, root, bark, or other substance of nature. So are herbs and natural healing really outdated? Or is modern medicine perhaps making a fortune selling us a concocted version of what we can easily obtain ourselves naturally, perhaps with less or no side effects. So here are just a few of modern medicine's acclaimed wonder drugs and the herbs, roots, and natural healing agents behind them. Most people have heard of Digitalis, which is a drug used to stimulate the heart. But did you know that Digitalis actually comes from a herb called foxglove? Coumarol is an effective anti-clotting agent that comes from sweet clover. Resperpin has been a popular tranquilizer for many years. It comes from an herb called snake root, which has been used for thousands of years in India to calm people. Quinine, perhaps one of the most well-known for treating malaria and fever, but this drug is actually taken from Peruvian bark in South America. Now here's the interesting fact. While no adverse effects have ever been noted by drinking large quantities of Peruvian bark tea, just a little too much quinine can make you go deaf. Go a little farther and you might not wake up. White willow bark contains a natural precursor to aspirin, but you can drink glasses of it and have no issues. However, take too much aspirin and you might be sleeping a long time. While the pharmaceutical companies have paid for studies to purport that aspirin can reduce the risk of cancer in Alzheimer's, the actual facts and studies show that use of aspirin actually causes bleeding in stomach, intestines, and the brain, which leads to ulcers, Alzheimer's, and many other health issues. In fact, the FDA has now even recommended against its use if you have not had a heart attack. We will not go into that any farther, perhaps in a future video. But anyone who is ignorant of the health concerns of aspirin should do some research at this point. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you not to consume or not to use any drugs. And I'm certainly not telling you to consume any root, herb, or natural healing agent recklessly without considering the facts. There certainly should be caution used, wisdom, and do your own research. But my intent is to make you think. Has modern medicine really been the one who has come up with these great healing agents? Or are they stolen from nature, extracted into a form which perhaps is not as pure as they would have you to believe? Many times the drugs that are extracted from herbs have countless side effects that are not found in the herb itself. Modern medicine would have you believe that in its extracted form it can prescribe an exact dosage to your specific health condition. 
However, the truth is that the facts do not substantiate this. The risks are greatly multiplied in many cases beyond the benefit once a natural healing agent is extracted and used in a drug. Hopefully this has made you think. Hopefully next time that someone tells you that herbs are archaic and ancient, you will realize that may not be the case. And maybe next time you're prescribed a drug, you will do some research to see if there might be a natural herb, root, bark, agent where that drug was actually taken from. Thanks for watching. This is the Uncommon Sense Show. Please like, subscribe, and comment below with thoughts for future videos. Keep thinking.